as the president is celebrating this bipartisan win on the debt deal, he is squashing the bipartisan bill on student loans. Why does he accept the will of the people in one area, but ignore the will of the people when it seeks to block the transfer of this debt to the taxpayers? I don't think protecting uh, American families or making sure that we give them a little bit of a breathing room uh, is going against the will of the American people. Uh, I don't think, uh, and also, his plan is actually very popular with Americans. Just process-wise, I mean, his forgiveness plan was done by executive order. Even the payment pause was done through an emergency statute. But the debt bill that mandates restarting payments got votes in Congress to pass. This bill, you know, rejecting the forgiveness program cleared both chambers and is heading to the president's desk. How do you argue with that, that it, this is clearly what people want to see happen? So look, you're talking about debt relief that would have been, that would have made 40 million people eligible who are borrowers. 40 million people. I think that's important for the president to, be, to, protect, uh, to protect the student loan relief plan, right? As he did during these budget negotiations. And he's going to veto this resolution that, uh, as you just stated, that has passed because it is not the right thing to do. That matters, and it's a popular plan as well. Uh, the Republicans were able to pass a bill in the Senate that overturned the president's student loan plan. Uh, what does it say that, that Democrats, uh, such as John Tester and Joe Manchin, supported overturning that bill? And, and do you have a timetable on, on the veto? So, um, again, it has to come to us. The president clearly is going to veto this bill. What I can say is uh, um, I think what's important here um, is I'm not going to speak directly to uh, how members, uh, senators voted on this, uh, but I will say, and I said this a few times, uh, this is, uh, this is, this is, when you think about the students, the, the student relief program, this is going to give Americans a little bit of breathing room. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, if this bill gets his desk, as I just mentioned, it's, he's going to veto it. Uh, and so, look. Uh, you mentioned the historically low unemployment, low uh, 4 percent for such a long time. Uh, but unemployment did jump last month by a fairly surprising yeah. margin from 3.4 percent to 3.7 percent. Does the White House have a view on why that might be and why um, unemployment among black workers jumped by almost a full percentage point? So uh, it's a bit complicated. I've asked the economist about this here, uh, and uh, but those numbers come from different surveys, so that's important to note. The number of jobs created is from a, a business survey uh, that uh, that came out, uh, but the unemployment rate is from a survey of households. Uh, our economic experts think they moved in a different direction this month, mainly because of the way they were categorized, that jobs were categorized, specifically self uh, self employment. In fact, do you? Does the White House believe that the fact that jobs continue to grow every month at a faster rate than economists are predicting is a sign that the economy is still overheated and that the Fed may have to raise interest rates again? Look, you know, we continue to believe that uh, we are in a transition uh, to more stable and steady growth. That's what we have been seeing. Uh, and beating, certainly beating inflation remains the president's top economic goal. It's a priority. Uh, and uh, But we have seen some progress over the last 10 months now. Annual inflation has fallen. Uh, 